Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Colab Coding 614. Today we're going to talk about file uploading using JavaScript, HTML, and Node.js. For all those of you who have attempted this, it can be a very complicated task. For the most part, you're probably going to get a plugin to do this, but I found a very, very, very simple way of going about this. It's really cool. So I got a couple things in my project here. I got app.js, I got an index.html, I got a raptor.png, uh, so a raptor image, it's a really cool image. And I'm going to create a new folder here called Uploads. Okay. So the first things first, I'm going to uh, just fill out my index.html. Uh, for those who are familiar with Emmet, you can just do the, uh, the, the bang here, the exclamation point and tab, and it'll fill out uh, most of your stuff. So I'm not going to worry about the meta tags. I'm going to give it a title here, though, File Upload. So it's really simple, actually. Um, what we're going to do here is build out a form. I'm not going to set an action here. I'm going to have an input type of file. And for some reason, I wanted to capitalize that. So the name is going to be, let's say, ID. I don't know. Nothing's too special. This is my ID image for my badge. And then I'm going to have a button here. And this is going to be a type of submit. And you can use the input as well, but it doesn't make a difference. Upload. And then create a script tag here. And then using a lot of the new J JavaScript APIs makes this really simple. So I'm going to do document.query selector and just put form in here. Now normally you would give form like an ID or class and um, then you would select it that way, but I'm not too worried about this. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. And then we could do on submit equals function. Then I'm going to use JavaScript's new fetch API, which is a way to do Ajax uh, without using XHR. It's uh, really great, awesome, really easy to use. So I'm just going to create a, um, a URL. It's going to be at uploads. That's my, uh, that's my endpoint. And then I'm going to put an object as a second parameter here. And um, I'm going to have a method, which is going to be a type of post. And then body, which I'm going to use new form data. And I'm just going to pass in this. Now what form data will do is just organize the form data and any, anything with a name attribute on it, it'll uh, package it up really nicely and allow, make it easy to send it to the server. Since I'm already in the form, this refers to that. It's really easy. I don't have to like specify, oh, name, email, or whatever it is. I just package it up in my form data. Now form data, you can do all kinds of things with it. I'm not going to go into too much details about that right now. So we're going to my app.js here. <clears throat> And I'm going to bring in uh, Express. Now I've already installed this, but normally you would uh, go into the uh, terminal and you would npm install Express. Um, and if you had like a package that JSON, you do tax save the npm install, or you can do npm i Express save. You would save it to your package that JSON, so that when you deployed it somewhere, you could just ins install the dependencies from your package that JSON. But I already have it installed, so. Uh, I always break this out to two parts because you're going to need Express separate from the app. Um, so then I'm also bringing Malter, which is a great uh, file upload handler in uh, NPM. It's a package mm -hmm. I'm put together. So I'm going to require Malter. And then in here, I'm also going to create another variable, even though it's going to be separate from that those variable declarations. But this is going to be an upload variable. And that's going to set equal to Malter. And I call that, and I pass in an object. And in this object, I'm going to define um, storage. So storage is going to be a malter dot disk storage. And this storage has a lot of different methods and properties on here, but there's only two I really want to use. And one of those is destination, and then the next one would be file name, which is not that file name. And it didn't show up because destination didn't get closed off correctly. But this kind of has a response, file, and a callback. And I'm just going to use a simple ES6 syntax here. Um, and you're going to call the callback function. That's how you would use this. And basically it's the same way with a file name. Response, file, callback, and then you're just going to call back. Um, now the first property you want to put in both of these is null. And then the second property here would be the destination. And since we have our uploads directory, that's what we want to put it in. So we'll just do uploads. And same with here, do null. 
and then whatever file name you want. Now you can define a file name. Um, a lot of people would break this function out and they wouldn't just call the callback right away because file, this, this property, this parameter has a lot of uh, information on it, like um, what MIME type it is, which is the extension. So it can tell you if it's a PNG, or sorry, not an extension exactly. It'll be like image slash PNG or image JPEG, whatever it is. Um, and so you would just, you can look at that and make determinations of how you wanna, if you wanna store the file or not. If you only want images or you want any file, put some security in there. But for this, I'm not gonna really put any security and I don't really care. I'm just making it as simple as I can. So file does come with the original name, which is just the name of the file that was originally updated or uploaded, sorry. Now, I'm gonna use, I have to use, to, to be able to serve up this index.html file, I have to do express static. So app.use express.static. And I have to use dir name plus forward slash. And that just says that all my static files, I'm just serving up from the root directory. Normally you'd have like a public directory or whatever, however you wanna have that. I don't really care, I'm just serving everything up from my root. It's not a big deal to me. Um, and then I'm gonna create my route. So app.post up forward slash uploads. And I'm gonna use some middleware here, which is upload dot single. And I have to call that ID. And I don't need a, I don't need a callback function. You can have a callback function here if there's other form data that you're going to handle, um, you would have your callback function. And of course, you'd have a request response. And then all your uh, form data would come back on the request body. Uh, but we're not, I don't really, I'm going to go into that. I don't even need a callback function. This is the most simplest way to do just a single file upload. Um, and this here, this string in single, has to be the same as the name here, just to recognize that. And you could do multi, multiple, there's array, there's all kinds of uh, methods you can call on upload to define how many images or how many files you're uploading or what type of files they are and such like that. So, but like I said, this is the simplest way possible. Uh, and then we're gonna do app dot, um, sorry, or sorry, app dot listen. So we're listening to port 3000. We got our route set up. We are using our, our static files here and then we have our upload with Malter set up. So I'm gonna run this here, node app.js. And that's running, and I'm gonna refresh here. I already had it kind of going a second ago. So, we've got our little input here. We're gonna choose the file, wrap it up PNG, and you can see right now there's nothing in our uploads directory. And we click upload and it got uploaded to our uploads directory. So that's about as simple as you can get. Uh, you can't get much better than that. Literally about, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six-ish lines on the client side, and you know, probably about 10 lines on the server side, minus spacing and such. But it's, you can't get much better than that. Uh, it used to be very complicated to do file uploading. And I'm gonna do another video after this, kind of going into drag and drop, native uh, JavaScript, um, a list event listeners because I think that a lot of people will tend to just jump into some kind of library to do that kind of stuff and they forget that it's really not that complicated when you're using plain JavaScript. But I want to thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe. Thanks.